Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jin Toe. So, before we got to this point, I asked this question three times, and each time, it just seems so unanimous. G League or number one draft pick? I asked on Instagram. Everybody on Instagram said, go ahead, take that number one draft pick. I made a video asking for your feedback. G League or number one draft pick? As of right now, I'm recording this because I know how YouTube is. Maybe in the next hour or two, everybody might change their mind or a lot of people without noties are gonna come by and start giving their feedback. The best way, and I highly recommend, so you don't miss out on any of these decisions is to turn on all noties. Noti game, what it do? I asked, G League or NBA first round draft pick? Everybody said NBA draft pick. I made a post on YouTube, same question. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking that number one draft pick. Ricky, what it do? Big dog walking through. How's it feel to be the MP? YouTube star turned collegiate legend. Yeah, honestly. I feel great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does it feel as great as you thought it was gonna feel when I caught you practicing taking down the net with your little step stool with that? Oh, you just never gonna let me forget that story, huh, bro? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you know what? I respect that. <laughs> hey, hey, for real though. You been thinking at all about next steps? Bro, always. That's what I'm talking about. So where's your head at? Cause you know I got a million ideas about how we could leverage where we're at now, but. You know, I want to know what you're thinking before I push the button on anything. And look, I I got my eyes set on the NBA. Dog, you were the no-brainer number one draft pick. I will call your mama up and have her slap some sense into you if you don't immediately declare for the draft. Okay, what happened to uh, you could be this huge music and fashion icon without having to play a single NBA game? Okay, Whatever yeah, happened to our dream, you bro? You could, bro, and I believe that. I still do. But there's no need, man. You're a legend and your career's already taken off. Yeah, well, I like that. You can keep going. Look, you are a generational talent. Look, and you'd be making a huge mistake if you didn't immediately declare for the draft. I was hoping for a lot a lot more celebrating and a lot less scolding, but yeah, I take it, I guess. And if you think about anything other than the NBA, that's exactly what you need. A good old-fashioned scolding. And like I said, your mama not too far. I'll get her on your case if you think about messing this yeah, up. Yeah, I understand where you stand, bro. I got this. Good. Hey, so look, I've been thinking about training with Brickley. You know, get my draft stop up a bit. Oh, bruh. What? I don't know how many times I gotta tell you this, man. You are the no-brainer number one draft pick. You don't have to do a single thing to drive up your draft stop. Yeah, but I know. But look, I'm in the mix. No, 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 so no. What, what's There's the no mix, bro. It's you and it's everybody else. All right, this isn't just coming from me. This is coming from everybody I talk to, including your agents. So, all right, look, man. If you want to work with Brickley, I get it. Ain't nothing wrong with putting some extra work in but you don't have to if you don't want to. That's all I'm saying. I hear you. I really do, man. Let me let me think about it. Honestly, I'm thinking about going to the G League. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. A lot of top prospects come out of G League now. I, yeah, I'm not knocking the G League, but it's a great option for a lot of dudes, but not if you've got the top draft pick on lock, bro. It'd be stupid for you to go to the G League right now. Bro, everybody talks about the development program, right? how they work you, how you own your skills, and it's getting you ready for the NBA. Why all wouldn't I that, do that? All of that is true, but you got the top draft pick, bro. The normal rules don't really apply to you. You trying to sound special? I ain't gonna say that, bro. Come on, man, you know I got a fragile ego. It's like a real star thing. I can't really control it. Don't make me say it, If man. you don't say it, I'm going to the G League. All right, fine, you special. All right, you, you have some of the biggest talent I've ever seen, and it's not even close. I mean, you honestly have a chance to be one of the greatest ball players of all time. You happy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually said it, bro. You real weak. Man, I'm going to kill you, bro. <sighs> I love it. Get on my nerves. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot to think about, man. Yeah, you do. But you also got a lot of people who care about you. So don't feel like you got to make this decision on your own. Yo, for sure. I appreciate you, bro. When you ready to make moves, let me know. Hey. You made a decision, haven't you?
You can tell that just by looking at my face, bro. Man, how long have I known you? Since what? Kindergarten? And you've been making that same stupid face. So come on. Tell me what you want to do. Hey, so what you think? What do I think? I, I can't believe this, bro. Hey, bro, you've been gassing me ever since we was in kindergarten, and you can't believe this? Look, I'm just saying, man, this is huge. This is the NBA, yo. bro, and it's it's like for real, really, for real. Hey, yo, but wait, is it really happening, though? Man, shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, all right, so what's next, Mr. Manager? What we doing? Next? Next, I, I, I got a lot to do, but I'm going to need a minute to set everything up, so why don't you just come back in a little bit, and we can talk details. All right, so what should I do in the meantime? Don't get hurt funny guy. No, 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 no. I'm not playing, MP. If I catch you skateboarding, we gonna have some problems. All right, Mom. I'll be home before the lights are out, too, so I don't get grounded, okay? <laughs> You're so funny, bro. Yo, yo. You ready to talk agents, bro? Are you ready, Rick? I'm excited to see what you got, man. You've been over there working like a dog in your little corner. Hey, do you know how many NBA agents there are? I had to do so much research, bro. Okay, so who's the front runner? Who are we looking at? All right, well, I've narrowed it down to two, and we are looking at Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. I don't know them. Yeah, they're more up and coming, but they've got a lot going for them. I mean, especially if we're going to branch out into these more ambitious ideas with fashion and music. Hey, look, tell me about them, bro. All right, well, I've set up meetings with each agency, all right? So you got to go check these guys out in person and see just who you vibe with. I mean, but I can give you a primer. <laughs> yeah, let me hear it. All right, so PAA is like the gold standard. They've repped anybody who's anybody in the NBA. Hall of Famers, All-NBA, you name it. So why wouldn't we go with them, bro? Okay, well, let me tell you about Barry and Associates. Look, their founder, Barbara Barry, she's <laughs> she's basically a savant. I mean, she started as a musician, became a producer, and now she's an agent, killed it at all three levels. Mm -hmm. Triple threat, I like that. Yeah, and they got a good amount of experience repping NBA players, too. I mean, they're just not as big as someone like PAA. Which means I might get some more personal attention. Hey. Not only that, bro, but they rep a lot of musicians and people in the entertainment world. I mean, Palmer's pretty much all basketball. So that can open up a whole nother world for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, you get big enough as an athlete, though, you can do the LeBron thing. Work with whoever you want, no matter who your agent is. I mean, look. There's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like, she could really hook us up with some more outside-the-box kind of things. So that's the way you lean it, huh? <laughs> I honestly think both could do a great job. But, I mean, like any workplace relationship, a lot of it's going to come down to who you're comfortable working with. I mean, so you got to go down and meet them before you make a decision. I mean, just feel them out. See who's a good fit with you personally. <laughs> Rick, what do you know about a workplace, bro? 2K shoes, that's not a boardroom, bro. All right, hold on. 2K shoes was hard work, bro. You're gonna stop trying to play my achievements. Okay, look, look, I know, I know your work ethic. It's amazing, my son, okay? All right, yeah, well, like I said, I set up meetings with both of them, all right? All you gotta do is go and listen. You can even ask some questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> you think you can handle that? Consider it done, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. So annoying. So we gotta take a quick second, hear the pitch of PAA. Honestly, I'm thinking about leaning towards PAA. They're the gold standard. It's like they're already established. And I don't necessarily know too much about the fashion industry. And when it comes to being a musician, we're here to play ball, aren't we? I don't know how much VC you get from, I don't know, selling mixtapes, Spotify plays, or whatever 2K is going to call it. I don't necessarily think that stuff matters, but 2K put it in the game, so maybe it does. Maybe you guys might help me out in the comments. Let me know which one you think sounds better. But I'm already leaning towards the gold standard, and that's PAA. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, I have an appointment with Kristen Keller. Keller. Ke Keller. <laughs> Keller, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and you'll be also meeting with Ms. Palmer and, of course, Mr. Bennett. Oh, great. He's here already. Cool. Yeah, he just beat you by a minute. <laughs> Everyone's on the 21st floor, and elevators are right back there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Jessica. Jessica, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Back there. Hey, there he is. How you doing? What's <laughs> How up, you doing, bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm doing? Kristen. Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, mm -hmm. the pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great. Good. So... Like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. 
the missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Di Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. When it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. If anybody knows how to get what they want, Regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point, okay? You live up to your potential on the court, and there is not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day-to-day, -day, and I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? Yeah, like Ricky was saying earlier, so it's mm -hmm. down to you all and another agency, uh, right. Barry and Associates. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to put y'all on the spot, but why should we choose y'all versus them? You guys ever hear of Bay State Law School? I knew that they had a basketball team named Bay State. I've never heard of a law school, no. Okay, well, I, w I went to Bay State Law School. <laughs> oh, Chris, it also. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Bay State's a, a decent law school. I, I'd say it, it's pretty good even. It is. it is. It is, but it's not Harvard. Okay. And it's not Yale. And because of that, it took me much longer to get where I wanted to go in my career than it would have otherwise. You know, I didn't have access to the same connections those blue blood types did. My dad's a mailman from Queens, not some investment banker from Manhattan. So I had to wait my turn. But you, MP, you're a blue chip prospect. And you don't have to go to Bay State. And you don't have to wait your turn. So Barry and Associates, those guys are fine. <clears throat> They're incredible, actually if you want to quit basketball and start a music career. <laughs> but in this world, the world of elite professional athletes, they can't compete. We're Harvard and they're Bay State. <sighs> now, you don't have to like the game, but you do have to play it. And we play it better than anyone. So how are you feeling? Well, it's been great getting to know you, too. Uh, you've yep. definitely given me a lot to think okay. about. Well, Thank you. The pleasure's Thank all you. ours. And look, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points. But I'll yeah, catch up with you. man. I copy that. Have all a good right. day. Have a good one, ladies. Take care. Yeah. Hey. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy, okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room and you can't miss it. Great, thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana, in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana, thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every Pe day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, uh, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going on, guys? Oh, it's MP. Oh, it's MP. Hey, hey, how you doing? There he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupted something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> nah, Definitely good. man. I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. Word? It's wild, man. Dope. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you're just going to represent yourself now. All right, no, 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 if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up. Just let the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You guys, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes. Please, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. With you so far. Second, and most importantly, 
uh, or I should say, due in large part to your boy Ricky over here. <clears throat> you got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base. And they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, no, no. In the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with him. Let the man finish talking. Well, well listen, <laughs> let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure, answering only to yourselves, your vision. Okay, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with them? No, no, or? no, it's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, okay, you guys know E-40. <laughs> E-40, yeah. yeah, dude's a legend, man. Well, listen, growing up in the Bay, He's a hero of mine. And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good, right. but because the dude did it on his own terms. Mm. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What'd you think, MP? Where's your head at? Okay, so right now it's down to you guys and PAA. Okay, okay. So why are you a better fit than them? Who are you working with over there? Uh, uh, Kristen Kelleher and Diane Palmer. Yeah. Nah, uh, they're very accomplished and respected, and for good reason. But you know what they do over there is more of a traditional corporate vibe. I mean, it's everything you'd expect a top sports agency to be, which is, it's good and bad. Good and what do you what do you mean by that? Bad. Well, you know, they uh, they never tell you what I'm going to tell you, which is that you can have an incredibly lucrative career whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. <sighs> now, uh, Diane have a heart attack if she heard me say that. <laughs> For them, it's NBA or bust. Right, but they don't know how to carve out the type of career that you and Ricky see for yourselves. Mm. That all starts with Barbara. Barbara, yes, where is she? You know, I thought she was gonna be here today. Yeah, she had a last minute thing. She sends her apologies. Oh. We can live with that, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> you guys know her story? Uh, a little bit, I'm not too familiar with it, now. Well, I'll keep it short. She got her start in a girl group. You guys know SV3? Sure. No. <laughs> Well, you know, so it's the typical boy band, girl group thing. Okay, you know, yeah, label yeah. finds a four-pack of talented singers, tosses them together, marketing defines their look, and, you know, off they go. Yep. Mm. Yeah. I mean, until they're not popular anymore, and then they get dropped. Mm. So you do know the story. Well, I mean, he said he didn't know. I always do my research. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, after the whole SV SV3 thing, Barbara, she just decided she was going to define a career. Okay. Nobody else. So she pivoted, you know, went behind the boards, became one of the most in-demand producers in the game. I mean, she's got like what, twenty number one singles to her name. That's right. That's dope, yo. That that story is dope, and you knowing it, Ricky. <laughs> Barbara's a genius, man. I mean, we're here for a reason. Yeah, like Ricky said, Barbara's a visionary. But music wasn't enough, you know. She got restless. She decided, hey, why not become one of the world's top entertainment agents? And she became enamored with this new breed of athlete that isn't content to just shut up and <laughs> dribble. Yeah, listen. Anybody can get you a meeting with Nike, MP. Okay. Just be good at basketball. Nike will find you. But what you might not get at PAA, or at least not nearly as soon, are all the other things that we talked about. Now, those are the things that are gonna set you apart. And we excel at those things. We can help you get them. What are we thinking? I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit down and think everything over before I make a decision. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Um, I do the same thing. Just take your time, you know, yeah. and uh, let me know when you're ready to take the next step. Absolutely, man, thank you for meeting with us, seriously. Hey, my pleasure. <sighs> I'll email you once we have some updates. All right, sounds good. Take care and MP, you. you have my direct number, give me a call if you have any questions, all right? Absolutely, I'll see all you right. soon, man. Take it easy. Have a great day. You too. So when it comes down to the decision for agents, 
honestly, it looks like PAA is if you're gonna be on the My Career grind, and Barry and Associates is if you plan on playing a lot of Park. So this one is a no-brainer. Don't get me wrong, I do play a lot of Park, and I do plan on streaming soon, so uh, if you haven't done so already, slap that like button one time for your boy Gento. It really does help the channel a lot. It really does support your boy a lot. And comment down below, say something, say what it do. Let me see, man, are you active? Have you seen every episode leading up to this one right now? There's actually two playlists. There's the actual NBA 2K22 My Career playlist. And then there's the playlist with all the, uh, the extra 2K22 videos, especially the one that led up to this one. Your boy hit up, hit the daily reward at 250K VC. That was crazy. Hey, there he is. How you doing? What's <laughs> How up, you doing, bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. I'm doing? Kristen. Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the <laughs> pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. I I'm feeling good. You feeling good, Ricky? Man, I'm feeling great. Let's do it. Fantastic! Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Welcome to the family. Hey, MP. that feels good. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> we just have a couple things we need to iron out with your management, but we know you are a busy man, so you don't need to stick around for it. We'll let you know. Hey, right, look, that sounds great. Once again, it's nice to be yeah, a part of the team. Yeah. Kristen, We're Diane, bye right you. See you guys. See I'll you see later, you. Don't mess nothing up. Man, I'm going to handle all of the business. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Phone's buzzing. Oh, is it just social media? Okay, let's see what these boys are talking about. I guess everybody's pumped up about the decision. So we gotta attend a draft watch party and then also talk to Ricky about attending the draft combine. 